Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Jesus Furman Rodriguez Montes. I'm going to be reading the daily readings. United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. March 6, 2021. Saturday of the second week of Lent. Reading one. Shepherds, your your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of, of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilan, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of inheritance? Who does not present in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency and will again have compassion on us? Threading unfold our guilt, you will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to J Jacob. And grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chend, nor does He keep His worth forever. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He inquint us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he, has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. I will get up and go to my father and shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. That was a verse before the gospel. Now, the gospel. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and the scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After the few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he quenched his inheritance on a life of, of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe flame struck that country and he found himself in dread need. So he hired, him, he hired himself out to one of the local citizens who sent him in to his farm to tend the swamp. And he longed to eat his fill of the ponds on which the swine feed. But nobody gave him anything. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hired workers have, have more than enough food to eat? But here I am, I am dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his Son, embrace him 
him and kissed him. And his, and he, his son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly, bring the finest rope and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate and fast. Because this man of mine was dead and is because of this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field and on his way back he near he neared the house. He heard the son of mu the sound of music and dan and dancing. He called one of their servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf, because he has come because he has come he has I'm sorry, uh because he has him back safe and sound. He be, he be, he became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said in his father reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even even a young coat to feast on what on my on with my friends. But when your son returns you swallowed up your property with prostit prostitutes. For for him you slaughtered the fattened calf, and he said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I, I have is yours, but now we might celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.